hello welcome to today's broadcast so we're going to be looking at a topic that is a little bit unusual but it's a topic that is very important that is something that can make a difference to your life and that topic is cowardice cowardice is evil so we'll take a look at this topic today and we'll see how the bible sees the word how it is what it is and how it impacts our lives basically so we're going to be looking at revelation 21 verse 8 which says but the cowardly unbelieving abominable murderers sexually immoral sorcerers idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone which is the second death so that that's a very self explicit the cowardly were listed among the evil people that are going to burn in the second death so if you have any doubt about that just look at this and so we're going to drill deeper to actually know why this is how come the cowardly i thought it's not their fault that they cowards i mean like it's not it's not his fault it's not her fault i mean she's just scared they're just cowards that's how they're made so why why why, why do they have to, to go to hell for that and then we're gonna see the, the impact of cowardice. We're gonna look at it and examine it. So cowardice is evil and it's not a good thing at all. When a man is a coward, that man cannot achieve anything. That man cannot be effective in anything. The cowardly nature in that man cripples him, binds him, holds him, controls him. So, if the devil wants to cage a man, he's going to use that too. He's going to use cowardice to cage that man. You see, God does not like cowardice. And cowardice does not come from God. Timidity does not come from God. God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given us the spirit of timidity, but of love, power, and sound mind. So, you have to reject cowardice today. It is cowardice that tells you that, hey, if you failed this exam. Do not take this exam again because you're going to fail it the second time. And people are going to laugh at you and mock you. It is that mentality. It is cowardice that makes you not to try out some things. People are pilots. People are surgeons. People do extraordinary things because they're not cowards. They could have chosen to think like a coward. They could have chosen to say, oh, I'm going to die there. If I fly that plane, oh, it's going to crash. I'm going to die. Like, really? Where are you safe? Really? You can be at home and you can have any kind of event that will lead to that. So, why do you have to allow or let cowardice stop you from being what you're going to be in life? So let, let's look at Jesus. Was Jesus a coward? And we are called to be Christians. We are called to imitate Christ. Christ, Jesus was not a coward. He did everything. He even knew the, he, the events, the outcomes. He, he knew the things that he was going to go through. He knew the Things. Even when he was about to, to go and be crucified, he said, when he was praying, he said, Father, take this away from me, but not my will, let your will be done. So, yeah, so he had that mindset of a champion. He had that mindset of a bold, brave person. He never let cowardice grip him and chain him. So today, as a Christian warrior, because I'm called to teach you how to become warriors. That's what the Lord commanded me to do, and how to get to Christian maturity. So if you want to be 
effective if you want to be if you want to grow as a christian take fear and put fear aside i mean like unreasonable fear there are reasonable fears you know you, you don't expose yourself to harm like to coronavirus or to every other thing out there you don't take precaution you just don't throw caution to the wind that is reasonable fear do not disobey the laws of nature but if it's just for ordinary things that you should be doing regular things of life and then you're always afraid you're always afraid to do things you're always afraid to do difficult things then that is evil in itself that is bad even some people are lazy because they are cowards so some people are so scared to go out because they think something is gonna happen to them out there and then they never ever ever achieve or accomplish whatever they're supposed to accomplish in life now as a Christian as a believer we have been called to do certain things in this end time time that we're in yeah this end time atmosphere so now it has that cowardly nature has crept into the church so there's certain things that you know very well you're not supposed to do even as a believer but because you're a coward you go ahead and do those things like for the preachers there are certain doctrines that you're not supposed to preach there are certain questions that someone will ask you and you have a stand in Christ. You know that this is what the word of God says about this topic. But you're so scared. You're so scared that you can't even stand. You can't stand on the word of God. People come to test your faith. They come to try. But so what do you think about this topic? They're trying to set a trap for you anyway. So that they can blacklist you and say, oh, you are anti this or anti that. So they come and set those traps for you. Instead of you to reply with the word of God, because you are a teacher of the word of God, you quickly buckle, you're so scared, oh, they're going to label me this, they're going to label And then, what do you do? You immediately deny your faith. And Jesus said, if you deny me, I will deny you in front of my Father in heaven. To stop denying Christ because you're a coward. Your cowardly nature is against and opposed to the will of God. There are so many difficult things out there that God can send you to do. If you are not bold, if you are not brave, you cannot achieve those things. So God strengthens people. Even if you were formerly a very fearful person or a very cowardly person, God can strengthen you. So recognize today that cowardice is evil and it is sin. So repent of cowardice today and start praying for the spirit of boldness. Start praying to be brave. Start praying for God to strengthen your inner mind, to be a, a, a brave person, to be able to face the challenges the times and the seasons that we're in to face the challenges in your life stop being a coward some people are even afraid to get married because they think it is such a huge responsibility i've come across people like that before they were scared to get married because they thought oh this is gonna happen but i don't i just don't understand why you let fear cripple you and control your life Someone I met once, some time ago, was scared to get married in man, and I said, Hey, what are you scared of? And he was shocked. I said, What are you scared of? I know people who have married and their wives died and they have remarried, and here you are, constantly being scared to get married. Why? Why are you always why are you so scared of being married? I said, Look, two things can happen if you get married. You either get divorced or your wife dies are you gonna be the first person that your wife died are you gonna be the first person that ever got divorced so why do you let that fear keep
blockage you from marrying. I know if you don't have that problem, you might not understand it, but some people genuinely have problems like this that keep them in captivity, that chain them, that, that keep them from moving forward, from fulfilling their destiny. And immediately I said that light went into him and his fears just he thanked me and he went ahead and got married to the next person that he dated. He got married. They're living very happily today. There's nothing happening. No divorce. No the wife didn't die. Nothing. He's fine. So all those were just imaginary thoughts from the devil to keep him from something good coming into his life. So that is how cowardice happened. When you let cowardice control you, and then you become a coward, nothing. You're just gonna be a paralyzed, crippled person, mentally. So today, repent of cowardice. Pray to God for the spirit of boldness. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit so that he can give you the spirit of a warrior, the mindset of a warrior. So that he can fill you with power, love and sound mind instead of timidity and fear and cowardice. Do not let fear or cowardice keep you from doing what you are supposed to do simply because you're scared. There's so many nurses and doctors out there battling coronavirus. Some have had coronavirus three times and they're still out there in the battlefield fighting, helping you. And then all you can do is the little way you can help society, the little way you can help yourself, the little way you can help your family, you're always afraid. You do not want to do it. But people are doing it. People take risks to help you, to make this society a better place. So why not do the responsible right thing to do? Stop being afraid of doing the right thing just because you are afraid. Just because you're a coward. You see, don't, don't let cowardice become a lifestyle. I'm challenging you today to stop every form of cowardice and to embrace boldness and bravery. God has called you to preach, preach. If God has called you to do anything, do it. Whatever you've heard from the Holy Spirit, whatever you know that you're supposed to do, do it. Do not be a coward. Start. You start little by little. Whatever is your destiny, whatever is your mission on this earth. Because we all have missions. We have, all have destiny. So you have to find out from God why you are here on this earth. Why you were born. We were all born to contribute positively to society. So there's, there's a specific, wonderful, glorious assignment that you have from God. Find out what that thing is and realign yourself to it without being scared. Start, ask God for grace, ask him to help you. Start today, stop being scared of trying out things or trying out new things, good things, simply because you're scared. You're scared people are gonna laugh at you. Say, oh, they're gonna mock me, they're gonna do it. Stop being scared of unreasonable things. It doesn't make any sense. Be bold, be a champion. Be a warrior. Stop being scared. Do not let fear drown you. And stop watching fearful things. Stop watching negative news, negative things that will discourage you and paralyze you. Be an example to society. Be a champion. Be a warrior. Get up and be busy. Get up and be active. Be a positive influence to people around you. Be a positive influence to your immediate family and to the society at large. Be the kind of person that other people want to imitate and other people want to be like and learn from. Stop being a coward. A cowardly life is a wasted life. A cowardly life will never lead you to anywhere. A cowardly life will lead you outside the will of God. A cowardly life will make you deny Christ. Yeah. A cowardly life will make you... Okay, let's say the rapture takes place today and you were left behind and 
you know, and it's, it's time for Antichrist to begin to manifest and do those things that he has been destined to do anyway. And then you are asked to know whether you denounce Christ or you believe, you know? And then you're so scared, you know, I quickly denounce Christ so that I can leave. That era is coming. If you are the kind of person that can do anything, you can deny anybody, deny your mother, deny your father, deny, just be irresponsible simply because of the benefit you want to get out of that denial, out of that power that if you're that kind of person, you will deny Christ a million times. Yeah, so repent from cowardice. Remember that even Peter that was with Jesus denied Jesus simply because he was scared. But he repented and God forgave him. So fear and cowardice can do that those kind of crazy things to your mind and God. You have to recognize today that it is something that you can let go of, that God can help you, God can give you, God can boost you and strengthen you. And, and give you power from above and make you a warrior and, it, and make you the kind of person who is a doer, who do the right thing and ne never give up, never really. As long as it's the right thing, not the wrong thing, as long as it's the right thing, it is holy, it helps people, it uplifts you, it helps your environment, and it's not something that is harmful to your life. Nobody is going to say, oh man, go and risk your life so that you can die. It's, it's not that kind of thing that I'm talking about. I'm just talking about unnecessary fear. Fear things that other people like you are doing. Maybe God called you to be a surgeon or a doctor or maybe a pilot. Just so many things. Or even a bus driver or whatever. People like you are doing it. People are doing such jobs. And then you say, oh, this is going to happen. I won't do it. I won't do it because I'm scared. I won't do it because, you know, Think just being irresponsible because people are doing it and feeding their families and, and getting income. But no, you're not going to do that because you're always scared. You're always scared of whatever. You're always scared of things that you should not be scared of. So that is why cowardice is evil. So that is why people deny Jesus because of cowardice. But that's why people do the wrong thing. A lot of people do the wrong thing because they are afraid and they are cowardly. And, and the cowardly nature makes them evil. Because the devil will know how to tell you, oh, if you do this, it will kill you. If you do this, it will die. Some people are having those kind of experiences. Oh, if you don't do this, it will just, you know, kill you. Do this, you will do that, you will destroy your family. You will. Just funny, funny things like that. There's, there are people that are having those kind of experiences and before you know it they get initiated into courts and before you know it that becomes their lifestyle the lifestyle of fear and then you tell them oh sacrifice this sacrifice that so that this person that person do this do that so that you can live so because they want to live they can sacrifice anything anything at all there is no off limit to them they can sacrifice anything, their children, their husbands, their wife, their parents, simply because of fear, because they want to live. That is the mindset that I am challenging you today to get rid of, because it starts little by little. And before you know it, it becomes a very big stronghold that is going to take you to the pit of darkness. So that's what you should get rid of in your mind for today. Because you don't, if you don't, you're going to end up among those people in the scripture that I read up earlier and then you, you, you will find that, that you're going to experience that second death and it will, it will be because of cowardice, because you're a coward and because cowardice led you to do a lot of evil things, to destroy, to be a bad person, to be a menace to society simply because you're a coward. So today Pray today that every spirit of cowardice in you leaves you. Every spirit of fear, whatever spirit that is constantly making you afraid, 
constantly making you live a subhuman life, I break that chain in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord of glory himself will always surround you, will always be with you, will lead you into any battle and will defeat and conquer on your behalf. I pray that you, you become a victorious Christian warrior. I pray that you will always be focused on the things of God. I pray that you become bold and brave to embrace the will of God and never look back. I pray that you do not allow cowardice and fear to take you away from your destiny simply because you are afraid of doing things that you think are going to to harm you and they're not going to harm you. I pray that you become a changed person. I pray that your mind will be transformed from the weak mind, the mind of a victim, the mind of a failure, the mind of a coward, into the mind of a victorious warrior. May the Lord himself come all around you and deliver you from everything that is evil, especially the mindset of cowardice. May the Lord strengthen you.